Hello, beautiful people. This is Cindy Pressgrace with Cindy's Realty Coop by EXP. And guess what time of the year is it? <gasps> it's time to talk about the market update for 2023. Well, it's not the market update. It's like, what are we going to expect for the mark for the housing market in 2023? Are you guys ready for 2023 or not? Hmm. Let's see. I know 2022 was completely like, oh, like really? What happened? Somebody put cold water and just basically turned up the fire. That's how the housing market was this year. But guess what? It is the best time to buy. So if you're taking advantage, you're being very, very smart. I'm not saying otherwise, by the way. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk to you guys about the housing, the 2022 housing market. And let's see what's going to go into 2023. So the 2022 housing market has been defined by two key, inflation and rapidly rising mortgage rates. That's actually what stopped us. Like, oh, the market cooled down. Like, oh, do I really want to pay that 7.5%? But it's also pushed people out of the buying process, the affordability. Because keep in mind, the higher the interest rate, the smaller the house. The lower the interest rate, the bigger the house that you can get. And there's different tricks to just actually go ahead and bypass that and just make it work. But let me go ahead and just tell you guys a little bit more about it. What are we looking for 2023 and how can you actually achieve and be able to buy your dream home, right? Or your first one or your second one or your third one. Let's see what happens, right? Or even, have you even thought about that vacation home? Mm, Maybe. Hey, you can actually put in the vision board for next year. Just giving you a hint. All right. So, and in many ways, it puts the market to a reset position. So we really don't know what was going on in 2022. A lot of people are concerned that it's going to be 2008. Yes, I keep on mentioning 2008, people. Okay. Anyways, as the Federal Reserve made moves this year to try to lower inflation, mortgage rates more than doubled. So we had increasingly like seen mortgage rates completely change in 2020, uh, 2022 this year. It historically went up like insane because we've never seen it historically like that. So something that's never happened before in a calendar year, this had a cascading impact on the buyer's activity, the balance between supply and demand. I mean, yes, we are still in a, in a market that Hey, you know what? We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we're still short supply. That's the thing. That is the reality of things. Cement, it's, uh, they're behind. I mean, if we talk a lot, go into details into a lot of things. We're still in short supply. You're like, oh, but you know what? There's a lot of houses stay in the market and all that. Yeah, but reality is it's because people are afraid to buy. People are listening to the media, misconceptions. I mean, and this is why I'm here to explain all this to you guys. So the balance between supply and demand and ultimately home prices. And as all those things change, some buyers and sellers put their plans on hold and decided to wait until the market felt a bit more predictable. Okay, yes, there hasn't been really that much predictability because interest rates were up and down, up and down. This is worse than a roller coaster. I guess at least we know where we're going we're gonna to end up in the roller coaster, right? But in this case... But what does that mean for next year? What everybody really wants is more stability in the market for 2023. And for for that to happen, we'll have to see the Fed bring inflation down and even more and keep it there. Here's what housing, housing market experts say we can expect next year. And if we go into details about the inflation, when inflation is up, that means interest rates are up. If inflation is down, that means interest rates are low. We don't know what low is, right? But there's so many things that we can actually talk about this and just go from there. Apologize about the beep, beep, beep in the back. Okay, so what's ahead for mortgage rates in 2023? Are you still listening? Okay, good. I'm not boring. Good. Okay, so moving forward, experts agree it's still going to be all about inflation. And if inflation is high, mortgage rates will be as well. And this is what I'm telling you guys. Inflation will be high if if, if inflation's high, interest rates are going to be high. So, but if inflation continues to fall, mortgage rates will likely respond. That means in, interest rates will go down. So while there are many, there are early signs, inflation is easing as we round out this season.